Bandito's leaders were arrested yesterday, two of them right here in San Antonio. Today, we're looking closer into documents the U.S. Attorney's Office sent us regarding that case. Courtney Friedman is digging into the details and even paid a visit to one of the Bandito's members mentioned in the indictment. Two of the highest ranking Bandito's leaders nabbed here in San Antonio. The U.S. Attorney's Office says 56 year old John Portillo is the gang's national vice president and 31 year old Justin Forster, the national sergeant at arms. The national president, Jeffrey Pike from Conroe, is now also in federal prison. A 23 page indictment details their alleged involvement in the gang and documents many claims against them, starting around 2013. When it shows Portillo launched a quote war with the Cossacks motorcycle gang. Here it reads on November 2nd, 2013, approximately 10 Bandidos members confronted members of the Cossacks in Abilene, stabbing some with knives, resulting in serious injuries. On March 22nd, 2015, approximately 20 Bandidos confronted Cossacks members at a gas station in West Texas in furtherance of John Portillo's order to quote stir things up. Bandido's members assaulted him, striking him in the head multiple times with a claw hammer, causing serious injury. The document lists several places where Bandido's leaders allegedly met to plan these attacks, one of those just south of San Antonio. August 24, 2015, John Portillo, Justin Forster, and other Bandido's members met at Chewy's Bar in Italia, Texas, a bar owned by the Bandido's Hill County chapter president, to discuss the presence of Cossacks members in Carrizo Springs and Crystal City and how to respond. I had a conversation with the owner of the bar and he told me he is a Bandidos member but claims that conversation detailed in the indictment never happened. The owner says many Bandidos, including Portillo and Forster, are at the bar often since it's a common hangout. But he says Chewy's is a public bar, not just a Bandidos meetup spot. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. If convicted of charges including federal racketeering and drug trafficking, the three men could spend life in prison.